One, yeah. Okay, back to the game. <laughs> we can debate. Yeah. We can debate one or two Aerons later. So Genzer has more ice than a Russian age, but not a ton. So he's managed to no. ice up both the and centrals. It, he's, he good. can be very porous. Um, he's a de he's obviously a deck that you don't oh, want to go. It's all tagging, go right? Yeah, it's all um, Data Ravens turnpikes. Yeah, he has very. He's got three wraparounds, I think, for his uh, end the run. Oh, I think he just dirty laundry to Jackson that Genzer removed from the game. Can we get confirmation on that? Well, the uh, we could maybe yeah. we bring up the chat. Yeah, Travis, can we bring up the chat? We just want to confirm what just happened there. I think he. Uh... Oh, he gets the. Oh, wow, that's a great start for Genzer to get that breaking news that early. Like that's one piece he needs for yeah. his EOI boom. So if he can score another agenda any way he can, he might have been boom presidential. What's Adam's anti boom? Plascrete, one plas he's got one Plascrete and an Eden Shard, I guess, if he's really concerned. But uh, Eden Shard's not going to stop Boom. It's, gonna, it, it's two, off, two off R&D. Oh, it's two off R&D. Yeah, it's not yeah. Utopia, of course. Yeah, it's not yeah, Utopia. Yeah. So he needs to find that... He really needs to stop the score or find that Plascrete. Oh, is that, was that a, a, is that a three-event peddler? It looked, like a, it looked like a Dirty Laundry and Inject. I don't know what the yeah, third one was. Yeah, the third card. The worst peddler. <laughs> well, he's got a lot of events. It's going to happen, right? What? Ten events? Yeah. I feel like if um, if Adam can establish himself with a with a medium early, I think he can take this game because there's nothing yeah. that Genzer has that's going to cause him a problem once he gets Cipher and stuff out. No, but he can throw up ice. Like he doesn't, and he doesn't want to take tags. I don't think it's any worse than any other corp. I well, think no. The, the key is whether he whether Genzer can find the pieces for the boom before the flash creep. And if Adam doesn't know already, he's going to know soon um, that he's on Oh, boom. so the chat, it seems to think that Genzer is on Railgun. He's not on Railgun. He does, in fact, need another agenda. Oh, and this is a little spicy Genzer tech, the news team. Um, yeah, so Genzer is not on Railgun, so he's not doing a shutdown combo. He's 24-7 he's boom, uh, tag and bag, or like exchange combos, uh, or just straight up, you know, being NEH and scoring quickly. No, no, no. <laughs> That's his HP deck. <laughs> there was a time when Genzer ran snares and everything, no matter, yes. like, you would be playing H. Oh, oh, there's the second one. Oh, boy. Oh, so I think, so I think, yeah, Adam's getting that out in the window that he has. Uh, so that's actually huge. That's huge for him if he keeps up a five card hand. That's right. He can't be single boomed. Yeah, and he, and he can't be and, and he can't exchange. He's not gonna double boom. That that is big. Okay, that's a huge yeah. fine. Because he twenty four sevens him and then doesn't boom. Yeah, and then just he clears the tanks next the turn. Tanks, and yeah. yeah, that's and a that's a weakness of this particular style over the accelerated diagnostics for sure. Yeah. And that's why you run two air and Shane. <laughs> Yeah, so what he's got to do, he's got to 24-7 trash the <laughs> and then try again. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a big swing right there. Shows you the power of air in one card. Yeah, we can't see Genzer's hand now, unfortunately. So, he's got a medium in hand. And, and he's, he's got... he's got uh, He has a Cipher, I think, on the Peddler. And he's got two daily casts and a Liberated. So he's going to have the money. So I think the medium dig's going to start... Or at least it's going to be in position to start it pretty soon. Because, yeah, I think if we look at Genzer's decks, like, there's almost nothing that he can res that's going to be too terrifying. Like, an Archangel is the worst thing to, yeah. to see. Um, but now it's not going to bounce. Oh, I can bounce the Aaron, but... I, oh, it's true. If it bounced the Aaron, it'd be pretty bad. Oh, another news team. Annoying. Okay, he's got the paperclip in hand. So he's got two of three breakers in hand. Yeah. Like... <laughs> I think, yeah, I think and we're he can't, and he can't going to medium town pretty quick here. No, oh, and there's the Temu, Temu for R&D. Yep. Yeah, Adam's setting up. But Genzer's in a good spot, too, so this is interesting. I mean, it's coming it's coming quick So for both uh, knowing, sides. Knowing Genzer, I feel like that might be an agenda. I mean, a third news team? It can't be a third news team. It's got to be a Jackson or a or agenda. Because he doesn't know he has a Yogg, so he doesn't want to run to that Archangel again, right? But Genzer scoring an agenda right here is not the danger. Because he goes down to four credits. 
They can't really res anything too harsh. Yeah. I think I, I think the, the, the problem is is that Adam hasn't quite seen a parasite yet, so that the cipher is not. But what is he? It's one like he's got a decent amount of money and he's breakers. I know anarchs are spoiled; they never want to break anything. But he he could just go to town on whatever that is. Like at least just putting the medium down means he's got a double ice and he's got to afford that. I don't know if I put the medium down until the turn. I'm ready to start hitting. Well, uh, no, I agree. Yeah, but he's at he's at 15 credits. Like how many more do you need? I mean, installing medium yog, medium and one breaker and a sifter is expensive, but and he's got two more on the daily cast. He's yeah. got a temu on the. He could do it, right? So he's got to go pretty soon. Like that's four. That's four. Uh, he's got all the pieces. I think he can go this turn. We'll see if he does or not. He's yeah. Oh, absolutely. I think he goes this turn. What's he, he, he's, he's Aaron for some more draw. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, Get a I guess it's a, yeah. in the hand. I mean, he's clickless. Why not, right? He oh, there it is. He just needs two. Okay, now yeah, he's okay, got so it. now he goes. Temu. He hasn't even taken a click yet. Yeah. Yeah. Medium. Run. Oh, he's, he's got this, though. He has the orchestra in the bin and the siffer. You want to break that with orchestra? Oh, and a siffer. Okay. Siffer on a peddler? Um, or he doesn't break it this time and just, no, I, I think... He can fight the traces. Like, he can yeah. fight the important traces. No, the purge doesn't matter. And you just gotta not trash and not remove from bin. Yeah. I might go in this time and spend a little extra money and then kill it so that you've got that medium counter. So that this isn't... Oh, I guess you're paying through the traces one way or another, yeah. so yeah. No, he's gonna he's gonna take the orchestra and Oh you know he paid the traces? Okay. Yeah. Paid the relevant traces anyway. Yeah. So I'm surprised he didn't take the Temujin off the uh Yeah. He might he might still be off the peddler. Yeah, I think he I think he yeah. forgot it, yeah. He just forgot. Yeah. So, so where's the Sifer? He must He threw one out, so I can't believe he doesn't have access to another one. I just because I've done this a while. <laughs> oh, he's running. Okay, that's good. That's good. One credit. He's not. He's not going to res anything that matters. Yeah. But Genzer has one credit, so I don't like Genzer's position here. Like, if he doesn't have a Sifri, he could be. He could be okay. But if he has a Sifri somewhere. That ice is gone, and the medium is just gonna go, go, go. Because yeah. Genzer has to cook for credits. He dropped one Sifer. I, I feel like there's a Sifer on one peddler and a Temujin on the other, but I might be wrong. I, I have no idea why he would drop a Sifer. It seems crazy to drop a Sifer. Yeah, that can't be. I mean, it could be a wraparound, but he has access to getting breaking that too. I mean, I think it's just a win if Genzer has to. Is he digging for another Sifra? I guess with Genzer so poor, he does have time. And there's there's the Plascrete, so the boom is really off the table. I think the boom is largely off the table anyway, but yeah. Oh, if you can just show us a little bit more, Adam. <laughs> Anarchs. I just, negative, I, he's at negative two points though. <laughs> so he does have to steal quite a few, but yeah. Another paperclip. Okay, he's he but he's gone impressively deep in his deck with the Aaron Moran and the street yeah. peddlers and stuff. That is not much deck left already. Oh, is he thinking about chucking that? I don't know, just his extra... I guess he hasn't seen any kill yet if he's not familiar with this deck. But why not chuck a paperclip and a... yeah. Yeah, paperclip is the option. Yeah, wow, with Aaron Moran, Anarchs can just rip through their decks so fast now. That's an impressive amount, like... That's wild side level, I like, guess, getting So I deck. guess he hasn't seen... Oh, this is... This is... Oh. There must be a Sifr not somewhere. And I thought he threw one out, which is weird. Was he worried about mid-seasons? Is he trying to keep his money up? Or, I don't know. 
Because that is a that is a slow boat for the macrophage to be. Yeah. Uh, there it is. There it is. Yep. Okay. Now we're off to the races. There it is. Yeah, he's got plenty of money. Yeah. Here we go into the Anarch Endgame. Hmm. So yeah, this is that that was that was the concern and so that, I well, that's a good that's a good res because even if he gets the Yogg and Siffers it. Oh, Yogg's in hand, so... Yeah. And he can't let this fire. Well, cause... he can pay the trace. He can just pay the trace. It's not the end of the world. It's a lot of money. But if I th think he pays the trace, he can't... He... Oh, he can pay the trace and get his Temujin out. Oh, no, he can't, because he's zero link. Uh, I can see what you're saying in the chat, but I, I think he only needs two. He needs two tokens to be safe, and I think he knows that. Yeah, if, if you. I if mean, you the second EOI might be a bummer. And don't forget. Well, yeah, that's true. I mean, he could double EOI. Uh, not double. Double 24 7 to go th around the tokens. So maybe, yeah, spending the last two is not a bad idea, Romans, or keep it four. But. So he paid the trace. There's the 24 7. And there's the second 24 7. But Genzer has. He, so he one dollar? Yeah. Genzer only has one dollar. Like. <laughs> Yeah, he's not he's not in danger yet. So, so how, what's Adam's solution? Well, if he does have a Temujin like we think, oh. then he credits up for next turn yeah. and just pops the Temujin on that. Well, no, he needs his Yogg. So yeah, he needs to get money. No, I don't know if he cares about the Yogg. He might be looking for another Parasite. I don't know what's in hand. But... Could be another, he could Deja Vu for the Parasite. That's, that's probably the best way to go. Yeah, you can go for the old double 24-7, but he's... Ooh. He's got to trash the Moran, I think, and he, his money situation is really bad. It's one, right? One dollar, like one credit. So yeah, maybe Adam deja vu's for Parasite and just goes, you know, threatens the ice because he's so poor. Wow, he goes to zero credits to install that ice. It might be a pop-up. Is, is it? I don't think he has pop-up yeah. in his list. He's got three. He's got yeah, three. It's okay, it's probably a pop-up. Pop okay. Oh, goes HQ. Yeah, if he can trash the boom. But oh, he threw out the plascrete. Oh, oh, Adam, you might. Yeah, but you might live to regret that. Like there was nothing else to throw out. Yeah, and the other or not live to regret it. Yeah. Okay, so he HQs damage in for money. That's a solid play. But I, yeah, I'm surprised by the plascrete because it's just like seals that off, right? Like it locks it down. So he's moneying up oh. for the. He's moneying out. Moneying oh, I see what you're saying. You got two deja vu in hand. Okay, I, yeah, chat's got it. I mean, you can deja vu for the flash but I still don't know why you would. Like, why you would chuck it. He's thinking about Yogg here. Oh, check the Oh, remote. this is a nice play. Just to, yeah, there it is. Quantum, yeah. He's up to negative one. Yeah, we don't know. I'll we'll have to talk to him about why he discarded the Plascrete. Well, now he's good. <laughs> Honestly, but if he doesn't know Genzer's deck, but he should, he probably played it much times. Then he, I don't think he's seen any kill pieces. Oh, he saw the you know he saw the twenty four sevens. That's true. He just saw the twenty four sevens. So, but he's got four Air and Moran counters now because he stole the quantum. Thanks, Alex, for repping some Canadian bravery in the chat. <laughs> we don't need Plascrete up here. It's just cold. Okay, so he can't. He can't, uh, he can't, he can't install the, he's got to credit up and go back. He's a player from Ottawa who does very well. He's low parts, low parts. Well, sorry, what did he see on HQ? I didn't. I missed uh, that. He's seen a hedge fund a few times. Oh, okay. But he's certainly keeping off the money uh, for it. Yeah, he's a long way from hedge fund, and he's gonna see everything in there. So, and I, so he'll probably money up and then probably run R and D this turn. Wow. 
endless hedge funds apparently in hand for the dice is letting them down. Just click for three. What would a double twenty four seven do? Uh, it didn't do anything yet. Oh, he yet. just keeps seeing that hedge fund. He's got more encounters. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure that Adam knows this isn't Railgun already. He hasn't seen any of the, like, Disposable HQ, Special Report, Anonymous Tip. Like, none of that has happened from sort of a typical Railgun deck. Another Timujin, okay. So. Well, yeah, he had He's one in hand, so now, it's now I think it goes on R&D. Well, wow, he doesn't have to pay. Oh, he's got a yog. Yeah, he can yeah, sit for in. He saw that. Yeah, he can sit for in and he gets one credit. Okay. Oh, he's going to see three here. Yeah. Turnpike and a sand sand. Trash the sand sand to go deeper? Yeah. Trash the sand sand to I go deeper. So, yeah. Well, you can't go. You can only run once through the Arcane. Yeah. Yeah. Until he finds a parasite. And he has a deja vu and money. So, I mean, next next turn he can obliterate both that ice. Yeah. He needs four counters. Yeah. Well, he doesn't even have a full hand, so he's not respecting twenty four seven boom <laughs> that much. But he's checked. But think about it this way: he checked the hand a bunch of times. I mean, he saw the same hedge fund. He's seen a lot of cards from R&D. If, if, if he doesn't draw here, he's in... Yeah, okay. He might think that he hasn't got the boom yet. Because he's checked a lot of R&D and the hand. Like, it's not an unreasonable bet to say he just doesn't have the boom in hand. Yeah, as you can see, this is a very different NEH than uh, uh, the previous ones. It's basically using it for the 17 influence. Because he's made one remote <laughs> the whole game. <laughs> oh, I finally got off the hedge fund. Another ice. Deja so it's, it could be a data raven. Oh, turnpike. It's, a turnpike. It's, good, it's a good one for, for Genzer to have. Yeah. It's annoying. He's going to take a tag. So he's... Oh, that's a good point. He doesn't actually need to uh, to stop. He needs to stop the two for like uh, a breaking news play, which is pretty slim. So Romans makes a good point that you just need to remove one tag and then he can't boom you. Yeah. So good oh. point, Romans forty four. Oh, and there we go. That's turned that off. Well, he's up to zero points. Oh, there's the boom. See, I think that's the first one. Oh, he's got the Eden shard. Yeah. He's not gonna be able to take it. I think. Oh, and he scored. He got more counters too for the breaking news. Yeah. Another Temujin. He should have four on there. No, I think he should get. No, but he he, he he didn't take his counters up necessarily. No, I think he might have gone down and then got more. Um, so I wonder why he's not deja vuing for parasites. Because that remote's not fun to run through, right? Oh, uh, well, I guess the turnpike, the, yeah. the turnpike, he can just get rid of it with the, the Marin counters. Yeah. That's true. And he yeah, should, I guess yeah. with Sifter, it's just costing him $2. <laughs> one for the pop-up, one for the turnpike. Yeah. That's it. But, I mean, Tishabu Parasites will be like a permanent fix. Again, there's not in the economic position to rebuild it. Yeah, I guess an EOI close to counts wouldn't be terrible. Set him back though. <laughs> yeah, Alex, yeah, I medium heard medium is, was an okay card. Yeah, to finish off games. Stim hack used to win games, but now medium does. <laughs> yes, all games, all the time. And I, I feel like Adam's being respectful by not dropping the second medium that's in his hand. <laughs> it's you know, it's being a sports. I think, yeah, as I've said before, I think I think medium. A medium ban would be the best fix we could do. Yeah. 
So maybe you, you Deja for Parasites here and just set up for the next turn. If he can get, if he can get all oh, the agenda suite. Oh, he's got, yeah, he's got, he's in zero points. <laughs> oh, Travis, he's on zero, not negative one. <coughs> wow, he's bottom of deck, and he finds his parasite. He just really didn't want a deja vu, I guess. So with the Yogg, um, was Archangel really that much of a problem? I guess he was worried about another Ant. Well, no, the problem is he wants to be able to run multiple times in a yeah, turn. That's and true. so he, he can't do that without killing the Archangel. Yeah. Yep, you're right, okay. Because after the Purge, yeah, he's got to rebuild this whole thing again. If, if Archangel's going to be everywhere again, I might have to slot David's back into my Val build. Yeah. Need some more Nexus Kate to keep that in check. Oh, again, just going. I don't know, a fourth ice, like... <laughs> I guess he's cheap enough ice to afford this, but he's not advancing his own game plan. Like, he's just putting on ice to be parasited. I mean, what, what do you think is Genzer's outs right now with the Aaron Moran counters like that? Getting getting out of lock and into a Sansan. -san? Um, but with Sifer and Yogg on the board, the Sansan's -san not going to stay. No. Right? I guess, yeah, I guess trying to protect R&D and then scramble up from there is what he's got, right? Yeah, I guess, like, the first the first line of play is always not losing, so... Yeah, I see what you're saying in chat. I'm just, when I look at the Anarch decks and when they, you know, pull off these devastating wins, the ice destruction is bad, but Parasite, they have other ice destruction. It's really the medium that makes it go out of hand. And obviously Keyhole would still be an option, but Keyhole is a different beast than medium. Now this is kind of interesting because he only has... No, it's not. It's not Accelerated Diagnostics, uh, yeah. Anesia. It's 24-7. Uh, but he has to take the tag for the encounter, but he's got Moran, right? Yeah. Well, he can't... Yeah, he needs... He, he, I wouldn't... I don't know what click he's on. Yeah, so now uh, Ganser's down to zero credits. See, to install that ice and res it is just quite harsh, right? <laughs> Yeah, it's, it, it's it's not as good as the railgun, but it is in the top four. <laughs> right? Yeah, so. no, the, Genzer knows full well that Aaron's a, a big counter to this deck, but um, he's managed to pilot it today in a meta full of Aaron. So. It was a full, pretty early Aaron, and he had two breaking news outs, so it's kind of a draw thing. Because he's got three boom in his deck, and he didn't find them before the one of two Aaron's came out. Yeah, or but he needs, he needs to find two cards. Yeah. So he needs to find two of four before one of two. Yeah. So that's about the same. And, but he also needs... No, he needs to find... Because he also needs to score. So it's pretty... Yeah. Uh, the odds of the runner seeing the Aaron before you assemble the 24-7 combo is pretty good. Yeah. It's, it's fair. With two. Yeah. And we saw a lot of criminal in the day. There was nine Anarch and eight criminal. So there was a lot of Marin. <laughs> Moran. You know, an endless Temujin, of course. Yeah, we're still not sure about this. It, like, as the chat says, like, Sifr beats the Tollbooth encounters. I guess because it's your, it's your, it's your it's priority, your windows, right? Yeah. 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 Well, because, so, the, I think, the, the, well, yeah, that's a good, why didn't he install the medium? Maybe he just feels he needs the clicks and the extra runs. Oh, there we go. No, I mean, he's playing fairly quickly, I think. I don't know if he needs to feel under that much pressure with any H on four dollars, but yeah. I, I Genzer has a way of making you feel pretty pressured. Yeah, but he senses the end too. I mean, he's got to sense the end with, with access to R and D, easy okay. access. So Adam is now uh, on the board. Yeah. Oh, 
Ginzer. Yeah, and Ginzer's not in the best of places. Oh, no, I think this game is heavily in Wizards' favor at this point. Yeah. I don't... Two, two mediums out and not enough to stop you. And I think, does he have, what does he have for money in hand? Well, there's four counters on Aramron again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a yeah, it TFI. TFI. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay, four points. And, and I don't think Genzer has any in hand, so they're all left in deck. And he's got a Deja Vu still in hand, so he can't ice it. Like, I mean, what's a purge gonna do? Uh, yeah, more ice. Yeah, but that, that ice doesn't matter. Especially for the first run. Because he just pays for it, whatever it is. I mean, a Data Raven would probably be the best yeah. thing for him. At least to slow him down a little bit. But a Data Raven's a little expensive. Uh, well, okay. he just, well, he just, Sifr Yogg. Yeah. Yeah. He just spent $4, not. Well, I guess, like. Yeah. This will probably do it. That's another one. More more Moran counters. Oh, the other boom's gone. Uh, he's got one boom left in deck. So next turn is Deja Parasite run. Yeah. He get twenty four seven exchange um, to get to. Oh, there's eight. There's there's a bajillion counters on Aaron. He can't twenty four seven anything forever. Seven, you're right. Yeah, sorry, over. sorry. I was trying to think of what Genzer could do. Yeah. No, Genzer has no outs basically. I think he did chat. I think he went. He's up to ten. Uh, he was started. I think he started the turn at six or four. Yeah, he's game point. He got a purge. I mean, there's no choice. He's running. He he ran the trace. He put. He, oh yeah. To so that he could get one more access. He tried to trace him out. Okay. Yeah. Which again is not okay. News team. Oh no. Take just take the tags. Take the tags and get rid of them. <laughs> yeah. 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 But so I I think Genzer's best out is that, that if. Uh, Adam forgets to drop the tags. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't even have CVS in his deck, so. Boy, how many agendas does Aaron, um, Genzer have in hand? Because he saw a lot of cards. With no agenda. I don't. I don't think he has any left in hand. Okay, drop the tags. So they just happen to be at the bottom, I guess. Uh, I think so. Yeah. There it comes. Yeah, the crazy thing about Sifr is that we actually finally got rid of Parasucker by giving it something better. <laughs> that was our answer to getting rid of Parasucker. Because <laughs> now they don't need suckers. I'm running. I'm still running one sucker in my whiz list. It helps with the conspiracy breakers, yeah, but it's for a different thing now, right? It's, yeah. Oh, he's, and he's thinking the same thing I am. He's like, where are these agendas? But Genzer having one in hand is no big deal, right? He can't really score it. He doesn't have the money. He doesn't have the clicks. Yeah, Birch, yeah. I might, I might have gone back into R and D actually, because you're gonna. Yeah, it's three more cards, right? So. Um, Oh, Alex opened in the chat. Uh, Genzer only runs one QPM. One QPM, yeah. So uh, that threat's even off the table. How many mediums? So he's running. Oh, he's only running two. He's got them both on the table. So we won't see the third. <laughs> 
Oh, he just ran archives? Oh, he dumped everything in archives, yeah. They had to be somewhere, right? 